Hey guys, it's Renee so for this witch's hat accessories. I'm gonna be using foamy paper. This is a leftover piece that I had, and I'm gonna be tracing a line that's one inch tall. This is how tall, like the pointy part of my hats are gonna be. Then from there, I'm gonna be making a cone, tracing an inch, going like this, like a triangle sort of shape. Then I'm gonna be cutting this. So again, this is how tall the pointy part is gonna be. And so if you want them taller, just make them bigger. I'm gonna be using some super glue to glue those bits together. And I'm gonna be adding the glue on the edge and then just help myself with my pliers to just gather those pieces together because this is foamy paper, it's thicker, so I can glue them from like the edges. I'm just gluing them almost all the way up until have a cone then i'm going to be taking a copper eye pin i do have a diy showing you how to make eye pins if you just have the wire gluing my eye pin and then just closing my cone with my fingers just being really careful not to actually glue my fingers and just making sure that the loop of my uh, eye pin is front facing meaning that i can see that from the front i'm going to be taking another piece of leftover foamy paper but this time i'm going to be making the base which is just a square but this time it's going to be like an inch and a half and doing this like so this leftover pieces of foamy paper by the way are from like a previous project that i made of like witch's hat doing the same thing that i did but for home decor so they are much 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 bigger they almost fit me actually then to make the round shape i took this really random i found this like around the house it's just for cleaning my glasses i'm marking a circle and i'm using this one because it has like the same size as my square then i'm gonna be gluing them together how i did it is first i added my cone to the top part and just made sure it was centered lifting this a bit and then i'll just add my glue through those gaps i painted them i actually love footage of me applying the first coat but it's okay because i had a tree working with my black acrylic paint feel free to work with black for me paper if you prefer i just prefer to work with white one and then just paint it myself then i'm going to be adding some gloss and the one that i'm using is my school be adding two to three coats also i made three of this two of them are going to be earrings and for those i'm going to be using this ear wires I just opened the eye pins with my pliers, added the ear wires and then just closed them. And for my necklace, I did the same thing, but with a jump ring. And then I added it to a chain that is like ready for you to wear some necklace. But yeah guys, these are the accessories that I want to share with you. I love them both. I love how the earrings came out, especially when you like start talking and moving your head because they move. And I recommend having your hair up so you can really display them. But I especially love the necklace. I think it looks really cute because it's going to be laying against your body. So it looks like a mini hat. And yeah, I really like how this turned out. But yeah, I had so much fun making them and I loved wearing them. You can wear them as a set or separate. I think they look like miniature witches hats. If you like them, don't forget to get this a thumbs up let me know which one you like the most happy halloween thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye